Alright, yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This here, my name is Paul Thickpin. <laughs> <laughs> this is my boy, Paul Thickpin, from St. Simon Island, Georgia. This place is beautiful. About a week ago, he bought this beautiful 39 foot contender. I ran over to Sarasota, we picked it up. We're getting kind of a late start. It's 10.30 right now, and we've got a two hour run. So we won't get to the fishing grounds until about 12.30. It's 80 miles that way. It's always very important to know where you are. Large tide swings here. Huge. Huge tide swings. There you go. Got the radar, chart plotter. What do you think, Jody? That's gonna be a good day. <laughs> So we've got 75 miles. We'll be there about 12:30. Right now, 39 contender, baby. Yeah. yeah. My main goal today is a big mighty mighty. Yeah. I'm counting on a blue ball, and I don't know about you guys. You never know. There may be Kobe up here. <laughs> The game done. Got him. Here. Go ahead, Come on. Come on. Get him, Nose. <laughs> we just stopped here for a second, dropped the jig down, and uh, we've got something on. Not sure what it is, but it's a fish. What's he got? What's he got here? Oh, the little jack. Pick him up in here. There you go. Little jack. Want to give him a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I just got jacked right there. <laughs> Girl! Put, okay. put some more drag on him. That's a big Kobe, probably. There you go. That, oh, he's trying to get you into the... Into the uh. <laughs> Easy. Oh, oh, I knew it! He got I you into it. the rack. I knew it. That was cool, though, right? Did y'all see that? <laughs> 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 the kids make fun of me. You like the speed? This speed's good right here. <clears throat> Turn to the left! Hurry, hurry, hurry! I got him slowly here. There he is. You got him? You're just going to keep it in a gentle turn to the left. Okay. The I don't think we have the fish hooked really well. You like the, speed? the speed is perfect. Nice. Now it's a mite. Good. Hey, here. Pick your rod up high. Watch out, sweetheart. Yeah, this is going for dinner right here, y'all. Mahi Mahi for dinner. So it's pretty cool right here, you guys. We came out, ran about 80 miles offshore and uh, put a spread out. And it's unique because we're trying to figure out the outriggers, trying to figure out the boat. Everything is new. And I got new anglers. This is Nelson's first time ever deep sea fishing. And he's hooked up to about a 15, 18 pound Mahi right now. Come on. <laughs> What's up now, boy? Perfect. I found it, you son. Perfect. Beautiful fish. Look at the color in that fish. That's like, my boy. Yeah. Paul <laughs> Thick Ben. My man. Man, I'm more excited for you than me. I know. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. Oh, marking lots of them. Oh, you just got blown up on the surface. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, watch out right long. Just, just keep us in a little turn, just like this. You're good. I gotta bring him to shore. Nope, you keep fishing. You keep fishing on that side. Yeah. Yep, trust me. What a wonderful day we're having. Turn a little bit more to your right. Now walk that away. Yep. Look at that. All right. 
There you go. Congratulations, Jacob. Yeah, Molly caught my bucket list fish. This is what I want you to do. There you go. Pull this hand up a little higher. There you go. Now, there you go. Now you're going to pull back with your left hand. And now reel with your right, okay? Slowly, easy. You're doing a great job. And whenever he feels really tough, pull him back with that rod just like that. Now, now reel. You did that. There you go. Now steady, right there. But always keep a bend in the rod. Now reel down to him. Just like we're gonna keep running. Here he comes right here. Oh, nice fish. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a nice fish yeah. you got here. Yeah! Good job! Sarah, you're doing awesome. Okay, now back straight up. Keep your hot rod up. Nope. What? 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 Good job, baby. There you go. <laughs> Paul Thigpen. <laughs> This, people don't realize. I love you, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Sarah, that's the prettiest thing in the Hey, what you think? That's good. Oh. People don't realize this is what I love about the outdoors. It's about families getting together. It's about friends spending time together. It's about fresh air, and it's about gathering good food. And you know what? We are eating good tonight. Can I hold it? You sure can. Ah, Look at that. Good job, baby. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Let me get a picture. Look at that. Ha ha! Hold that up. 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 Hold Yep. He came up and come on, buddy. Come here. Come here. Hey, you gotta keep that line nice and tight, okay? Keep really. Good job, keep honey. Just drop yours back there, Paul. Just freeze pull it. Freeze pull it as fast as you can. <laughs> what did you say about that? Me and my baby. Look at this. This is so awesome. Oh. We got a double on here, y'all. Oh, you got a nice fish right here. Dude, look at the side barracuda you got. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at that. Oh, no way. Bring him right around here. Look at this. Look at that fish. Here, here. Hold on, hold on. Come off your drag just a little bit like that. Hold on. Hold on. Bro. I can't even feel my hand. They're numb. <laughs> hold on. Come here. Come here, buddy. I love that color. Dad, look. Look at that. Good job, Eva. Look at that. What? Look at that. Good job, baby. Look at that. Have you ever seen a barracuda like that? Hey. I don't know. This one is going to be good to eat. I might have another one. does too. This one's going to be good to eat right here. Oh. Okay. Hold them right there. Yeah. Look at that one. Oh, my gosh. They're all through the boat. What an amazing <laughs> day we are having. Oh We've got my God, look. three beautiful mahis, caught an amberjack, a couple of them, a couple Absolutely. big barracudas, and you know what? Hey. We're not done. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> now, All right. a lot of people don't realize this. That is freaking cool. A lot of people don't realize this, but, but barracudas that are this size are amazing to eat. So we're going to throw these guys in ice, then we're going to do a mahi First barracuda taste Ooh. test at Paul Thigpen's house. Ooh. Look at this. That's <laughs> a beautiful one. Yeah? <laughs> See this? It's got a nice coffee box. And that's one of them mice. When you when you ice these fish, feel how solid they are. Oh my God. Feel that? <laughs> that cold salt water actually makes them very firm. And then when you fillet them, they're going to be unbelievable. Look how fast those barracudas just lay down. Yep. This is a taste test I've been wanting to do for a long time. Everybody knows that that right there is a Mai Mai. 
dolphin fish or a dorado based on where you're from and everyone knows that that's a barracuda. The deal is everyone thinks this is amazing to eat and this is terrible. That's what I've always been told. You've always been told I've that? I've never eaten barracuda. Okay, never. this is what we're going to do. I'm going to fillet the, the dolphin and now I'm going to fillet the barracuda and then we're going to go cook it, alright? Is it the same color meat? Well, you're about to find out. Okay, okay. Now we're dealing with millions and millions of noceums right now, and I'm trying not to shadow the fish because I want y'all to have a nice view. All you're gonna do is take that knife, let that knife run right down the edge, right out the back. Angle it down. Don't put too much pressure on it. Just enough. You'll feel the tip of your knife running right along that back bone. Do the same thing right there. This will pop out. Take your thumb, just gently make a little cut right above the back bone. Go through your rib, through your pin bones. Now you're angling down on the other side of the back bone. There you go. Come back up here. Go up and over the, the rib cage. There you go. That's what a mahi-mahi filet looks like. That's our mahi filet. Now let's take a look at what our barracuda looks like. It's the same principle. I got a question for everybody at home watching this video right now. Have you ever eaten a barracuda? And that's a serious question. Have you ever eaten a barracuda? And if so, did you like it? I'll bet you a million dollars everybody in the Bahamas is saying yes right now. And you know what? I've been eating barracuda long before I ever went to the, to the Bahamas. Mm. And I got a uh, no -seam right now trying to paralyze me like a lion. That's mahi-mahi, that's barracuda filet. The mahi-mahi has more of a grayish, milky look to it. The barracuda has a pure white look to it. Now, a lot of people call it trash. I call it dinner. And that's where we're heading now. See you in the kitchen. This is our basket full of barracuda. That is our basket full of mahi. Let's season it up. And we're gonna season them both the exact same way. Put it in there. We're gonna do some pepper. Himalayan salt and some Everglades original. Like that. And then we're just gonna let it become happy. Very fresh fish. We caught this yesterday, we filleted it out last night. It was on ice overnight. Now we're cooking it. It has a beautiful, fresh smell to it. Just lovely. This is toasted coconut. I put it in the broiler for just a little while and that kind of dries it out, makes it nice and fluffy. It also makes it a little bit sweeter. So in order to make homemade coconut fish fingers, put a little bit of fish in your flour. And dredge it along. We're gonna try not to destroy Miss Lily's kitchen. What you thinking? You excited to eat some of this fish? Yes, sir. Yeah? It looks good already, kind of. Does it? It's kind of satisfying when you put it in there. And it's kind of satisfying, huh? Yeah. So what exactly does it mean for something to be kind of satisfying? Like soothing. Soothing? Yeah. Okay. That's a good word. Do my fingers look satisfying or do they look disgusting? Disgusting. <laughs> Okay, so that little mixture now, we're gonna just right there. Ooh, boy. Stick it on there. That's gonna be good, y'all. That is a homemade coconut fish finger. 
the longer you let them to dry, the longer or the better the crust will adhere. You don't want to cook this at too high of a heat. If you do, it'll scorch the, the coconut. That's what we're looking for right there, y'all. Nice golden brown. All of our coconut is sticking nicely. It's gonna be good, y'all. And this is all we do. Look how nice and golden brown. You get all that sweetness and love out of that coconut combined with the fresh fish. And you want to be very careful when you're doing this because now as it cools, man, that coconut is going to be magical. All right, all right, all right. Nobody knows what it is, but the name of the fish is written on the bottom of the pan. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for our friends and our family. I ask your guidance and protection over everybody afflicted by COVID-19. And Lord, I want to thank you for this food and thank you for this day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, y'all dig in? Dig in. All I want to know is right or left. Right or left. I was going to make an elaborate sauce, mm. but I decided to not do a sauce because I wanted you, I figured the coconut in the spe spice that I used was enough. Well, all my eating Delicious. videos would you be going, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> my God, that's good. Mm. 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 <laughs> Whoever liked the one on the right the most, raise your hand. Le okay, so you like the left. So one on the left and one, two, three, four, five, six on the right. So the one on the right is, what do y'all think it is? I don't know. Mahi, Mahi. 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 Really? I knew. Yeah, I can tell. The, the one on the left is delicious. It is delicious. Yeah, it's good. But I can tell from the texture. I actually, I swear to you, I thought the one, I thought this was barracuda. Mm. The it's difference good. is minuscule. It's a tiny, uh, tiny difference. Just nitpicky. I just felt that, I felt that the mahi, now that I know it's mahi, I felt the mahi was slightly more flaky and and just something about it. Yeah. So if they were all in the same pan, there's no way. You, you would never know the difference no if they were all in the same pan. There's no way to tell them apart. Uh -huh. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Paul Thigpen, Paul Thigpen Automotive Group. Not only is he a good friend of mine, he's been a huge supporter of deer meat for dinner. My family depends on people like this. He's become a great friend. Yeah. But um, if you would, go check out his Instagram. And as you come out of this whole ordeal and the economy gets opened up, anywhere in America, if you need a car, whether it's a used car or a brand new Corvette off the showroom floor, this man can have it delivered right to your door. No one has better customer service than he does. So go check him out. There will be links in the description below. I want to say thank you to my crew, Austin Cracker and Jordan Doyle. I hope all y'all had a great time on I've that boat. I've had a blast. It has been just a stellar weekend. I think like it's just been great. For sure. I've We've got a lot of really big trips coming up. And both of my camera guys are great friends of mine. They do a lot of really cool stuff on Instagram, showing sort of behind the scenes of what we do. So if you want to see them on Instagram and kind of see what it's like to be a part of the crew, go drop a like on all of them. Everyone's Instagram will be in the description below. Paul Thickpin Automotive will be in the description below. And I will see you guys soon. That's all I got. Take care. God bless. We are gone.